Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewisot structure for the tetrafluoroborate ion. So here we go. Uh, tetrafluoroborate ion is going to be uh, BF4 minus, okay? And the uh, this is going to give us three valence electrons from the boron plus four fluorines each with seven valence electrons of their own plus one more valence electron for the minus one charge for an overall total of 32 valence electrons, okay? Um, we can now subtract out the largest multiple of eight, which in this case is 32, leaving us with zero electrons remaining. And since 32 is equal to eight times four, that means that this will be an AX4 structure, meaning that there is one central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms, okay, and zero non-bonding pairs on the central atom. So let's go ahead and draw this structure. Um, we're going to have put the uh, boron in the center, surrounded by the four fluorines. Okay, and then we can go ahead and single bond all of the fluorines to the central boron and then fill in the octets for each of the fluorines. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We also have to include the brackets because this is an ion, so you have to put the charge up top here. But that should be our final structure. Now let's go ahead and uh, verify that this is correct by checking the uh, formal charges. So the uh, formal charge on the central boron is going to be equal to the three valence electrons brought in minus the one, two, three, four bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of negative one. And then the formal charge on each of the fluorines. If you notice, they all have the same setup with one bond and six non-bonding electrons. So all of their formal charges will, uh, will be the same. So it's going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus the single bond on each fluorine minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons on each fluorine for a formal charge of zero. And we multiply that by four because there are one, two, three, four of those fluorines. Add up all these formal charges and that gives us an overall formal charge of negative one which is exactly what we need because this is a minus one ion, okay? Uh, now, in terms of shape, when you have the AX4 type structure, that shape is going to be called tetrahedral, okay? And when you have a tetrahedral shape, the bond angles are approximately equal to 109.5 degrees, all right? Uh, in terms of hybridization, when you have, are looking at the central boron, you have one, two, three, four different electron groups or potential bonding sites. So that means that we need four hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3 hybrid, 1s, and 3ps. That's a total of four hybrid orbitals to match the four bonding sites or electron groups. And uh, because all of the four peripheral atoms are all the same kind of atom, they're all fluorine, that means that they're all going to cancel each other out in terms of polarity, making this a non-polar ion. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.